Okay, we have already configured chart of accounts and company code. Now the next step. <clears throat> next step is financial accounting. Global settings, ledgers, fiscal year and posting periods. Assign company code to fiscal year period. The fiscal year period can be from January to December, April to March, July to June. That is a fiscal year variant. Okay, our was was our company code. Lab four. Okay. Yeah, I think it was lab four. Lab four. Lab four will have January, December, and four special periods for adjustments. Save. Save. Mm -hmm. Next is posting periods. And we will define variants. And posting period variants are very easy. Uh, map four. Four. What are posting period variants? We'll just see that. Sign variants to company code. Four. Four. Lab four. Okay, open and close posting periods and double A for two. This is a template that we'll use and we'll copy it. Copy as. Maintain all. Double F for two. Copy as LAP four. Copy. I okay. Okay, save. Now this posting period variant allows us to post entries in plus means all. A is for assets, D is for customers, K is for vendors, M for material, S for GL. And from account means if it is empty, it is from the very start to the end of the series from period one of 2000, which is one is January 12th, that is December of 2024. Period two is basically special period, 13 to 16. Okay. And we're not changing 2023 just to save time. So all periods are open for entry. Okay. This is done. <clears throat> Settings. 
for okay, sir. ledgers. Now, this is very important. Okay, zero leading ledger. This is the only ledger in SAP landscape which can be leading. Only one is allowed. Leading ledger takes all the manual entries and it has all the transactions from all the modules. Rest are standard ledgers and sub ledgers and extension ledgers. Standard ledger and extension, what is the difference? You can, you can make entries in standard also. And you can make entries in extension, but you can disallow uh, entries in extension ledger. Why do we use this for accounting standards, for currency reporting, different? Okay. So leading ledger is one. So we'll go to company code settings after selecting this. Okay. Lab four. Lab four. Double click. Okay. We have fiscal variant, posting period variant, and we have currency type company <clears throat> code currency, which is ten. Okay, accounting principle will be gap, functional currency will be 10, which is operational currency, parallel accounting using GL accounts, and we will also go for global currency, but later on. ARO. Ledgers, ledger. LP4 
double click then save Okay, finally it was saved. Now currency types. and currency conversion settings for company gold because we have aed we will have for usd and euro so for that we will create currency types global currency conversion currency conversion and okay we have y1 y2 reporting currency legal valuation company code specific that it can be assigned to company code okay we can also make our own but let's save time new entries lap4 currency type y y1 currency Uh, currency will be gbp source currency type will be document currency exchange rate type will be m and translation date will be posting date it will be in real time okay real time conversion okay enter okay gbp lap4 y2 usd 00 not usd but euro standard translation posting date real time say uh, 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 this is y2 not 72 controlling object no we don't want this we'll delete this lp4 y2 euro document document currency m posting date and say Okay. 
Okay, so we have Euro and GBP. This is GBP. We'll make it uh, Euro. G. Okay. So, um, Okay, now let's go to company code settings again and zero error company code settings parallel accounting. Oh, let's call it a day. 